And also, and here we go, people are going to be like, <clears throat> Signal fanboys, because um, people think we're Signal fanboys, and it's like, no, it's because it's proven. And be like, hey guys, no, it doesn't matter if you're right or left, you can still use Signal to communicate with people. If your primary messenger went down today, would you be able to reach people? So please have backups for everything you use, even if it's Signal and trusted. I have a friend who works in law enforcement, and when I first downloaded Signal years ago, he popped up in my contacts as like, oh, here's people you know with Signal. And I texted him, and I was like, oh, hey, I didn't know you had Signal. And he literally goes, yeah, we have to have it for work. Or like, Signal's compromised because they require a phone number. And it's like, let's just ignore literally every freaking legal request that's been sent to Signal that only came back with the information Signal promised to give them. But think of the children. We need to ban encryption because the children aren't safe. <laughs> Even though, remember the one time there was a data breach that exposed student addresses? <laughs> that actually happened multiple times. But, but yes, Signal and WhatsApp are the problem because the security landscape is changing. And, you know, if Signal becomes uh, compromised or AES becomes deprecated and replaced with a better encryption, we will be certain to let... Bleh be certain to let you guys know also quantum computing this speaks to like guys math it's math encryption is math to, to yes but i don't understand math i'm <laughs> bad at it true but like people <laughs> you like people can prove math and you can trust the people who are able to verify that so when people spout bs like signal is compromised you're effectively saying that math isn't real at the end of the day like at least the encryption side of Signal, right? Like you can you can go ahead, but even, you know what? Even the phone number is hashed. Like, so technically speaking, Signal doesn't quite know everyone's phone numbers, but people also dismiss that. Trying to like get factual with people who believe these things is very difficult, but it's the same thing with ProtonMail. People who think ProtonMail can read your emails, you're effectively saying that to, math just isn't math at that point. I'm gonna send you a video about the infinite hotel theorem. I made I, my partner so mad with that one. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, um, I don't know. Just, just <laughs> everyone, everyone is listening. Just remember that encryption is math, and like math is is very like we have some of the strongest encryption that's just accessible day to day to everyone, and it's really kind of a cool time to live in, even with quantum computers around the corner. By the way, I, we've actually seen a few comments of people who are like, "This this show is just shilling signal." <laughs> First off, we're not paid anything to talk about signal. Either way, like Signal is a massive nonprofit organization. Like we have nothing to do with Signal. Um, but also like we still like to criticize services when it's needed. But at the end of the day, Signal is just a fantastic service uh, for a lot of things. And it fits a lot of threat models very nicely. But we still think that it would be fantastic for them to drop their phone number requirement. I was gonna say for the record, that's a criticism right there is like, just because we're not saying like, delete Signal, it's trash, doesn't mean we're not criticizing it. But it's like, hey, you guys have been promising usernames for God, what, like two, three, maybe even more now years? Like, when are you guys gonna do that? Yeah. Like, it, it's still a criticism just because we're not telling you to pick up the pitchforks. Exactly, and and that's the confirmation <laughs> bias I was talking about earlier. If you're someone who believes that Signal's compromised and we're not on the same boat as you, you now think that we're somehow pro, like super pro Signal and, and are unable to criticize it. And if you're someone who's super pro Signal and we even bother to criticize it a little bit, you're gonna think that we're super against Signal and because th we know this happens because some of you, we see the same comment uh, regarding the same story and people interpreted it literally the exact opposite way. You should look in the confirmation bias if you don't know what that is and you listen to our podcast. It'll probably make you a lot less angry about the stories we cover down the road. Problem with the light phone is kind of the same problem with a lot of flip phones, which is it doesn't give you many options for encrypted communication. You're kind of stuck with SMS and just generic phone calls. So, so for me, signal is just a basic requirement for any phone I'm looking at and the light phone doesn't give that to me. So I can't use the light phone, even though I really wish I could. It is worth mentioning that um, light phone on their FAQ actually does mention that they are at least thinking about maybe someday looking at options like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Signal, but it's not something that they even have a, a any kind of estimate on, and they're not even promising it, but they are aware that, you know, people want Signal support. So if Lightphone got Signal support, I might be considering it. I don't even mention- My partner does it with Signal. Yeah, same thing with Signal, like, hey. She doesn't even bring up the privacy aspect. She's just like, oh, we can send unlimited attachment sizes and make group chats and all this stuff. And it's cross-platform. Like, hey, you want you want FaceTime and iMessage, but on Android too and iOS, let's use Signal. Um, probably the best demonstration of this is, let's say you download Signal and Signal now opens when you log in. You will now get notified that Signal added itself as a login process. My takeaway today is use services that are proven. Signal is proven to collect almost nothing. There have been actual court documents that have been released to the public that show they were get, almost able to give nothing 
not even your phone number, nothing. We're also big fans of like a history of legal requests. Like for example, we've talked about all the time that Signal has been served multiple legal requests and every time they do, they have almost nothing to turn over. So these are the kind of things that help build trust. Okay, so for the record, if anybody from Proton happens to watch this, the reason that I'm so critical of this is because now it makes me like, it's not with something like Signal, where if somebody's like, man, I, I wanna have a sensitive conversation with somebody, what should I download? And I'm just like, Signal, full stop, end of conversation. There might be other considerations there depending on their situation. I, people, I, I tell people, Signal is probably the best messenger you can be on in this day and age, overall like regarding usability, privacy and security, like just an overall best balance. And that's something that I tell pretty much everyone I meet who asks me, oh, what do I do about privacy? I tell them, freeze your credit, switch from Chrome to Brave, download Signal. And also, and here we go, people are gonna be like, <clears throat> Signal fanboys, because um, people think we're Signal fanboys. And it's like, no, it's because it's proven. And